Stop. You're up to your eyeballs in a homicide. I hope you understand that. But I'm telling you. No, there's no self-defense. That self-defense claim is gone. Okay, what you two did was a carjacking. I understand that. I have an eyewitness. So what you two did is a carjacking. Oh, by the way, there's video. Yeah, there's video. Yeah. Do you want to start again? Yes. All right, go ahead. In our last video, we talked about two men, Willie Eckford and Jaquan Glover, who turned themselves in to the Orlando, Florida Police Department. Willie told detectives a story that didn't make much sense as he tried to claim self-defense. In this video, we will be taking a look at the interrogation of Jaquan, also known as Papa. Detective Teresa Sprague. I hope you watched. He washed his hands too. Good. What's your name, sir? Jaquan. Jaquan. I'm Brian Ferreira. All right. This is Detective Brian Ferreira of the Orlando Police Department. Today's date is Thursday, June seventh, two thousand eighteen. The time is now approximately zero eight forty hours. This is an interview taking place at Orlando Police Headquarters in CID interview room number four. Also present is Detective Teresa Sprague of the Orlando Police Department and Jaquan Glover. You have the right to remain silent, do you understand? Okay, see, yes. here's the problem. I don't want to misconfuse head, head shakes because sometimes a yes can look like a no and vice versa, so I really need to make sure you understand these, okay? Okay. So yeses or noes, all right? If you don't, it's no big deal. You ask me and I'll explain it to you. Okay. Okay? Yeah. All right. No pressure. All right, so that's a yes on the first one. So you understand? Yes. Okay. So, how did you wind up here? How did I what? How did you wind up here? Tell me what happened. Uh, you want to hear the story? Mm -hmm. What happened? Please. The guy he, the guy that was driving, he he, he was taking us home. Me and uh, my friend, he was taking us home from a hotel, mm -hmm. and he had his friend in the car, I guess, or mm -hmm. somebody. And I guess he was already mad because they were arguing. Mm -hmm. So he was driving like reckless. Mm -hmm. So we we telling him like calm down. Mm -hmm. And he getting mad at us and started arguing with us and going back and forth with us. Mm -hmm. And he stopped at a red light and we was telling him like go like take us. Mm -hmm. And he was saying no, he'll sit here all night. Mm -hmm. So we said just turn around and take him back to the hotel. Mm -hmm. He turned around, but he didn't take us back. Okay. What happened then? He was saying that he'll stop the car and beat our ass. He said. Okay. Why would he say that? I guess he was mad. About what? About us, like, arguing with him and stuff. Okay. Let's go back a little bit, okay? And then we'll, we'll move forward. What does everybody call you? They call me Papa. Papa? Yeah. Okay. Well, not, not everybody. Some mm -hmm. people call me Papa, Corn. Who calls you Papa? Like my household and like... People that are really close with you? Yeah. Family? Mm -hmm. Okay. Who's your friend? You said the guy I was driving was taking me and my friend home. Who's your friend? The other guy. What's his name? I call him Jay. You call him Jay? Yeah. Who's Jay? Jay's the one who's driving or Jay's your friend that you're taking home? The friend that was with me taking home. You call him Jay? Yeah. How often do you call him Jay? Like, that's what I call him. What's his family call him? Willie. There you go. Okay. The guy that was driving, what's his name? I don't know him. You don't know him? Mm -hmm. When was the first time you ever saw him? Last night. Last night? Yeah. Okay. Where did you see him first? At the hotel. That's okay. What hotel? I'm not sure of the name of it, but it's over there by uh, the Magic Mall. Whose room is it? It was me and my friend's room. You and your friend who? Willie. Okay. But yeah, we, it wasn't in our name, but. Okay. What time, what time is that at that you saw him at the hotel room? 
I'm not sure. It was nighttime. Nighttime? Where'd you guys go? Did you go anywhere? We were dropping this off. Where at? To uh, my friend's house. Okay. If we're going to keep talking about your friend, if his name is Willie, let's keep calling him Willie, okay? Because mm -hmm. I don't want to I don't want to interpret that as somebody else. Okay. okay. So he, he took you to Willie's house? No, we didn't make it there. Where'd you go? I, I told you what happened. At the light, we had to stop when he turned around. Oh, okay. What about earlier in the day? I was I was at uh, Willie's house, mm -hmm. just sitting over there chilling. And then where? Then the hotel. Mm -hmm. And then where? Then that happened. That's it. Yeah. You leaving some stuff out? No. <laughs> Mr. Glover, listen to me, okay? You're a young man. Mm -hmm. You're 18 years old, right? Yes. You have your whole life ahead of you. Yes. Yes. Okay. Have you ever been arrested before? No. Okay. So this is all new for you? No. So you have to weigh very heavily the decision you're going to make right now because it's going to affect the rest of your life. Do you understand that? Yes. Okay. The rest of your life. So start thinking. Okay. Because when you leave stuff out, you know what that's called? That's yeah. called a lie of omission. Okay. And lying to me is not... A good thing. Do we understand each other? Yes. Where did you go today? Don't leave anything out. Try it again. I don't go anywhere today. In the last video, Willie told the detectives details leading up to the homicide. The detectives were able to put together a story of what they believed happened. Willie, Jaquan, and Lamar had been out stealing clothes and electronics, and they stored them in a hotel room. While Willie and Jaquan were away from the room, Lamar stole everything inside. Willie and Jaquan then asked Lamar for a ride home, pretending they didn't believe he was the one who stole the items. While they were driving, Willie and Jaquan tried to carjack Lamar, which ended with Willie taking Lamar's life. Uh, you, do you think I'm worried about some credit card fraud stuff? Do you think I'm worried you about? Do you think I'm worried about today credit card meaning fraud? Thursday? He's playing some Wednesday. Antics. Do you think I'm worried about credit card fraud? I don't do that. Or hmm. theft? You were with somebody who did it. Okay. We know about all that. So, so just let's, talk. Let's, let's, let's talk. Okay. The stuff you guys took. If you're going to not talk, then we're going to have to go on what everybody else told us. And guess what? Your friend, the one that you didn't want to tell us his name, threw you under the bus left, right, and center. Yeah. He what? Oh, yeah. You know what throwing under the bus means? No. He, he's putting all this in your court, saying that you're the one that's responsible for all this. You understand that? You understand? Responsible for what? Are you, so you're gonna. This is the way you're gonna go. You were there. You know what happened. I know what happened. He said you're responsible for it. Do you understand that? Yeah. So the one that you're you're hanging tough for, the one that you're covering for right now, is telling on you. So that's fine. If you want to play the game, I don't care. One way or another, somebody's gonna be responsible. So if you want to be the one that's responsible, that's fine. What I said isn't a lie, though. No, there's a lot more, isn't there? Isn't there? Yeah, it's more. Yeah. Okay. But so it's not really. So start thinking. Who do you care about in your life? Who's important to you? Me. You. Nobody else in the world that you care about. My family. Okay. Do you want to look at your family through a piece of glass because you lied and took responsibility for somebody? Mm -hmm. Huh? Mm -hmm. Okay. So you have a big decision to make, yeah? Yeah. Are we on the same page? Yeah. Okay. Where'd well, you go? It happened. There's nothing you can do to change it, but lying about it isn't going to make it any better. All right? Did you go to the mall yesterday? Yeah. What mall? Uh, the, the outlet. Which um, one? I think Prime. Okay. Did you go to a few different places yesterday? No. Just Prime? Who went? It was me, that guy. What guy? I don't know. What did, what did everybody call him while you were there? I'm sure they referred to him or something. Lamar. Okay. Or something. Okay, Lamar. I don't know if that's the name. That's okay, know. but that's what everybody called him? Yeah. Okay. Thank you. And who else? You, Lamar, and who? I'm Willie. 
I'm really. That was it. Okay. You guys went down to the mall and you bought some stuff. We'll leave it at that. I'm not even worried about it. Okay? How's that? You hear what I'm saying? Yeah. Okay. So when you go from the mall, where do you go after that? To the hotel. Whose car were you and you went to the mall? That guy. Well, let's keep calling him by the name. Lamar. Lamar. Okay. When you went to the mall that day, who had a gun? Nobody. How do you know? I was in the car. Okay. Did you? No. Okay. So you go from the mall to where? To the hotel. This hotel that you have, it's not in your name, but you're staying over there? Yeah. And, and did you tell me where it is? I'm not sure if you told me where it is yet. Uh, by the Magic Mall. I think it's Best Western. By the Magic Mall? Yeah. Okay. So you go, you go to the hotel. Who goes in the hotel room? Me. All three of us. Okay. You guys had a lot of stuff? Yeah. Okay. And what happens, so... Do you all stay in the hotel room? Does somebody leave at some point in time? Tell me what happens. Well, today is Thursday, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, we were supposed to leave tomorrow. No, 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 I'm talking about yesterday. You all go back to the hotel room. You carry your bags up to the hotel room, right? What floor is it on? The second, second floor. Second floor. Two floors. Okay, so second floor. The guy, Lamar, he left. Lamar left? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, he said he had to go pick up uh, the other guy he was with. Okay. And then what? Guy. Then that's when everything happened. He came, we came, we told him to come drop us off. He came. That's what happened. Did you go to Will's house at some, Willie's house at some point in time? I went before, that was before we went to the mall. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. So, why did you get back in the car with, with Lamar when all this happened? What happened? What brought you back into that car? Before it happened? Mm -hmm. Right before it happened. You know, you told me you drive driving around and you're at the traffic light and everything else. Why were you guys in the car? We wanted to get dropped off. Where? To Willie's house. You gonna tell me what happened with the hotel room? Oh, ain't nothing happened. Oh. Mm -hmm. Try again. We, we came back and the, the hotel doors are unlocked. Why wouldn't you tell me that? I wasn't, like, my head right now, like, I can't explain, but... Well, you know it's Thursday, right? Yeah. You know you're at the police station, right? You know your date of birth, right? You told me your date of birth. You know your address. You know your mom's name. So to your head's okay. Yeah, but... Okay. I'm so let me ask you a question. Why wouldn't you tell me that the door was open to the hotel room? What are you so worried about? I wasn't thinking about that. Like... Well, listen. How many times do I got to tell you? You need to think about these things. You hear? Yeah. Because it looks like you're not telling me. What does that look like? I forgot what you called it. Lying. It's very flat out lying. Do we want to lie? Mm -hmm. We're going to talk about that too. Okay. So help me understand a little bit more what's going on here. So you go back to the room. The door is open. Then what? We were just curious why it was open and stuff, trying to find out. That's the reason we left, because when we came back, the door was open, we didn't want to stay there. So you're curious as to what in the room? Like, what happened? What happened? Somebody came in. And did what? The stuff, everything was like on the floor and stuff. What was on the floor? The clothes. Okay. Was anything taken? Yeah. What was taken? It was a few shirts and stuff. A few? What do you think is a few? Like... Like four shirts. Mm -hmm. Four shirts? Maybe more, I don't know. The possible was more? Yeah. A lot more? Mm -hmm. No. What kind of shirts were they? Like heel figure and stuff. No. So, what time is that at about on 
Wednesday afternoon that you realized that the door was open and stuff was taken? I could say nine. At night? Like nine, ten. At night? Yeah. Dark out? Yeah. Okay. What'd you guys do then? And it's just you and Willie at that point in time? Yeah. Or is there anybody else with you when you realize that this is going on in the room? It was just me and Willie. Okay. But we left after that. Well, you didn't just leave, did you? I mean, there's a little bit more to that, isn't there? What did you think happened in that room? Somebody came in and took something. Who did you think did it? I don't know. Yeah, you do. I don't know. Who no, that. you told uh, plenty of people who you thought did it. So who did you think did it? Who I told thought did it. Hmm? Who I told I don't know. Who. You tell me. Don't, don't, don't understand. We've talked to plenty of people about this, all right? Yeah. So I need to hear it from you. Who did you think did this? I don't know who did it. You had an idea? Who was your, your idea? Who did you speculate did it? It really wasn't nobody at the hotel mm -hmm. but me, Willie, and that guy. Named? Lamar. Lamar. So who did you think did this, Willie? Mm -hmm. So who did you think did it? Probably was Lamar. No. Mm -hmm. How'd that make you feel? I don't really f Were you mad? Mm. You weren't mad at all. Mm. Well, I'm trying to understand why somebody who wasn't mad would be yelling in a car. Hmm? Why somebody who wasn't mad would be yelling inside a car. Why? If you I were mean, mad. After it happened, that's when Lamar came back mm -hmm. and took us to drop us off. Mm -hmm. And he he was mad. He was mad. What was he mad about? I don't know. You don't know? No. How do you know he was mad? Because the way he was talking, he was talking aggressively. And what was the way he, saying? he was driving. Well, what was he saying? Aggressively. Hmm? What was he saying? Aggressively. He was talking to his friend at first, arguing with him. Mm -hmm. They were sitting in the front. And yeah, we're in the back. Where were you sitting? On the right. On the right back. Behind the passenger? Yeah. You sure? Mm hmm. Really? Yeah. Okay. Where was Willie sitting? Next to me. Okay. Who was driving? The guy. Which guy? Lamar. Lamar. So, he's yelling or speaking aggressively, but you don't know what he's saying. That's what you're telling me. Oh, I'm not saying that. Okay. So, what was he saying? He was saying... He was arguing with his friend. Then I said something. What did you say? I was saying, calm down, slow down, like, because the way he was driving, he got ready with me. And I said, just take us back to the hotel. He turned around, and he started talking again. And he messed around and said, shut up before I pull over and beat y'all ass right now, or mm -hmm. something like that. Or something like that? Yeah. It was something like that. Okay. Like he gonna beat our ass. You accused him of stealing the stuff is basically what pissed him off. Yeah. Yeah. Why is it, again, why is that so hard to tell me? I don't know. He was already mad, though. Okay. But the main fight, the main argument was because you guys accused him of stealing your stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Because it was only three, three of us in the hotel, so it couldn't have been no, nobody else. It was two cars. I... I, we came in the room. Mm -hmm. It's three of us in there. I know Willie not gonna take it. Mm -hmm. So it's three of us in there. I Willie got a car. He threw the card on the bed. I grabbed the other card out the dresser. You saying card? You mean the room keys? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I grabbed one out the dresser, and this one here on on the bed. I grabbed both of them, mm -hmm. and I throw them in the dresser and close it. Mm -hmm. So Willie goes in the bathroom. I turn my head for a minute, then I come back. I, I get the key because we're about to leave and mm -hmm. go. Mm -hmm. But there's only one key in the dresser now. Like, where is it? Who got it? Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. So, the argument's pretty good in the car. To the point where he threatens to beat your asses. Yeah. Because you're, cause you're accusing him of stealing the stuff that he said he didn't steal. Yeah. 
So he pulls the car over? Mm-hmm. He being Lamar? Yes. And then what happened? He gets out. Mm-hmm. And he, he's fighting Willie. But when he jumped on Willie, I got out of the car and tried to jump on him. But the other guy, he jumped on me. Okay. And we was fighting. No more. That's when the shot went off. You shot him? No. You sure? Yeah, I'm positive. Who shot him? I wasn't looking. No, you weren't, huh? Mm-hmm. No. No. You were right there and you weren't looking, so again. No, that kind of that kind of that kind of answer is something that makes people say, "Whoa, well, wonder what he did." You were right there. You were watching your buddy. He's fighting this guy. What were you doing? I wasn't watching. What were you doing? I just told you, I, the guy, my, Willie was fighting the guy Lamar. Mm-hmm. I get out. I try to help Willie, at least get get Lamar off of him. Mm-hmm. What you were able to do? Huh? What you were able to do? No. Yes. I didn't. How's that? I only swung one time and the guy came and snapped me. What guy? That's how I got this. That's how you hurt your hand? Yeah. Doing what? I got slammed. Onto the pavement? Yeah. Or what's that from? Let me see. And my elbow hurt too. I ain't getting a look at that. Hmm. That looks like somebody that kind of was on the ground, like pushed to the ground or something. Got a guy slammed. And slammed, huh? Why do you think he slammed you? Because I was trying to help. Okay, walk me through that a little bit more. Help me understand that. So, help me understand. So, so, what were you looking at when the gun went off? I was. I wasn't looking at them. Okay, that's not what I asked you. Though I asked you what you were looking at. What were you looking at? I don't remember at the time. You don't remember? Mm-mm. Really? I'm so serious. Hmm. So you just don't remember what you were looking at? Well, your brother, basically. See, see, that doesn't help. See, and this is where I get lost again. I'm sorry, but you know what? If this is my, my, he's your brother. Let's be real. Let's be real, right? Because you, you said only family calls you Papa. And he calls you Papa. He called you Papa every time we talked about you. Yeah. So he's pretty tight with you, yeah? Okay. And see, I know how it works, all right? And when my buddy is right and he's done the right thing, I'm gonna say, yeah, I saw him, I saw what he did. Mm-hmm. He shot him, because you know why? Because he was attacking him, he was choking him, whatever it was. You know what you said? I don't know, I didn't see it. What were you looking at? What was so important at that point in time that you had to be looking at that you didn't see what he did? And you know what you said? You said, I don't know, I don't know. I wasn't watching. If I was, I would've told you. Okay, that's fine. So you can't testify that he was acting in self-defense? As long as we understand each other on that, you cannot testify to that. You understand that, right? Yeah. And you're you're in no danger at that point in time, are you? You shaking your head now? No. I mean, I I was because I was fighting, but... Well, what were you fighting? Because you said you only threw one punch. What were you fighting? I threw... I ran up, threw a punch, and got slammed. Why did you run up and throw a punch? It happened so quick. Why did I run, run up and throw a punch? He was on Willie. He was on Willie? Yeah. Doing what? He was fighting. Mm-hmm. Okay, fighting. I got that. There's a lot of different ways you could fight. What was he doing to Willie? He was on him, you said. How did that work? Like, he ran up on him. He, he, Willie was on the floor. He was on top of Willie. Mm-hmm. What was he doing when he was on top of Willie? He was fighting. I got that part. What was he doing to him? I just seen movement, and I blacked out and tried to come hit him. You blacked out? Yeah. Okay. And I got some out. So after the first shot, what happened then? I jumped in the car. Mm-hmm. How many shots did you see? I heard two. You heard two? Second shot? I heard two shots. Mm-hmm. What happened on the second shot? Where'd the second shot come from? I don't know. You don't know? The same gun, I know that. How do you know that? It had to. Why? Had to. Who had the gun? You did? No. 
I'm saying no. You don't know what happened, but you can say for sure it was that gun, and you can say for sure you didn't have the gun. Am I understanding that right? So they blacked out in parts of this? No. I'm, I'm telling you what happened. Well, you're telling us what you want to tell us. Well, I'm trying to help you. <laughs> no, you're not. You're trying to help you. And you're trying to help Willie. Why did Willie shoot this guy? Lamar. Willie didn't tell me why. He didn't tell you why? He said... What did he say? I can't hear you. What's that? What did I want to? He didn't want to. So why did he? I guess he felt that if it if it wasn't him, I mean, it was either him or him at the time. Like, you're like me or you. Why? Because like they was fighting. I saw him, he's not that beat up. Hmm? He's not that beat up. You have more injuries than he does. Hmm? I, I, I got slammed. Mm. Okay, but you didn't pull a gun and shoot after him shoot him after you got slammed, did you? Mm. Where'd that gun come from? It was found under the seat in the car. How much time did you guys have together after the shooting? After the shooting? Mm-hmm. I could say 15, 20 minutes. It's a lot of time. Yeah. To talk about what happened? Mm. No. No, because I know I wouldn't talk about that either, right? I mean, somebody just shot somebody. I wouldn't talk about that. I don't know what you would do. You want people to believe that? Um. You want people to believe that for 15 or 20 minutes, because you guys made enough efforts to go and do what? What'd you do with the car? Isn't it late? Yeah. Yeah. So, but, so let me, hold on. Let me make sure I understand you right. So you guys didn't talk about what just happened. You took somebody's car that didn't belong to you. You didn't talk about what happened and you just happened to just bring it to a lake and push it in the lake. Am I right? You said then talking about what happened twice. You, you, yeah, you didn't? What you, can you say that again? Okay. Shooting happens. You guys go both get in a car that doesn't belong to you. Mm-hmm. And you make every effort to go and get rid of this car. So I guess what I'm wondering is, when was the last time you were involved in a shooting and drove a car over to a lake and pushed a car to a lake? When was the last time that happened to you before this one? It never happened. Never. So this is the first time that happened. Yeah. And all of a sudden, out of nowhere, you just decided to take this car and put it in a lake. Because? I didn't know the car was going in the lake. You didn't know. At what point did you figure out it was going in the lake? When you got there? When I saw it going in the lake. Mm-hmm. Well, apparently, your testimony is atrocious. You don't have a very good memory, and that's fine. So the carjacking and everything else, you could be just as involved, and that's not, that's fine for us. That is not a problem. And you know what happens now? Because you have no memory of what happened, and you can't tell me anything that happened, and you can't be honest with me, that's fine. You're yes. going to be charged with murder. I hope you understand that. That's oh. everything. I'm no, it's not. You. No, 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 no. Stop. Not even close. Stop. Okay, stop for three seconds because you're throwing. Okay. No, you're gonna listen now. You're throwing your life away, and that's fine. Throw it away. That's fine. I have no problem. Okay, one affidavit for two people is fine with me. I'm telling you. No, you're not. Stop. You're up to your eyeballs in a homicide. I hope you understand that. But I'm telling no, you. No, there's no self defense. That self defense claim is gone. Okay, what you two did was a carjacking. I understand that. I have an eyewitness. So what you two did is a carjacking. Oh, by the way, there's video. Yeah, there's video. Yeah. So do you want to say what you said? That's fine. We'll go with that. Say when, when you try to defend yourself and say, I didn't do this or I didn't do that, you blacked out. You can't remember what you did. So you can't tell me what you did. So that's fine. I told you. No, you didn't. Stop. This is crazy. It's not crazy. This is reality. This is reality. Okay. Do you want to try again? Do you want to try again and fill in the blanks? Because you're really not doing a good job right now telling the truth. Okay. Do you want to try again? Yeah. If you didn't shoot somebody, you're not somebody that I would need to put in jail. We can't do fingerprint or something. Like, no. No, we, we can do truth. Tell the truth. We can do truth. Tell the truth. 
I mean, I said... No, stop. Listen to me. Stop. Christ, I'm trying to... I'm, do you understand what we're doing here? Yeah. We need to get the truth, okay? I don't want you to lie. I don't want you to make anything up. I don't want you to tell me anything I don't... I, you think I want to hear. Understand that, okay? This room right now, this is it. If I get up and walk out and she gets up and walks out, we're done. And I'm going to go with... You know what I'm going to go with? Mr. Glover could not remember anything. He blacked out. He blacked out. So whatever everybody else said you did, you did. You understand that? I do not. Yeah. So whatever everybody else is saying, I got. And nobody's lying to me. Okay? Yeah. You're the one that's got amnesia about certain things. Yeah, you made some bad decisions tonight, didn't you, last night? Okay, let's, let's get that straight. You made some bad decisions last night, didn't you? Yeah. Yeah. Again, how many times do I have to make it clear to you? I can give a rat's ass about credit card fraud crap that you guys did at a mall. That's a dime a dozen. I don't care. It's not something I need to send you to jail for. Do you understand that? Yeah. Are we on the same page on that? Yeah. Okay? But to tell me that you guys didn't talk for 15 or 20 minutes, you had no conversations whatsoever about what just happened, and a car just winds up in a lake that you're driving in or you're with, and you're going to tell me you didn't talk about anything? Let's not go there. Okay? Because that's an insult. Isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Do you want to start again? Yes. All right, go ahead. We're coming from the hotel was broken into. Mm -hmm. We noticed everything. Some things was missing. Okay. So we called Lamar and tell him to come back and get us. He comes back and he's taking us and he's arguing with us. Did you guys call Lamar so you can question him about the, the stuff? Yeah, well, we were, we were already questioning him over the phone. Okay. What's What was the plan to get Lamar there? What, why? Why did you want to have Lamar there? Why was it so important? Because you could talk to him over the phone, can't you? Yeah. So what was so important about getting him there we and getting in that car? Tell me. To leave. Try again. What was so important about getting him there? And whose idea was it? Because if it wasn't your idea, I need to know that. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah, it wasn't my idea. So whose idea was it? It was really idea. What was his idea? Tell me. To get them out there and Why? Go. And what? And go. And do what? To get in there and what? Not to go home. Not to go home. First he wanted to question him. Yeah, and then what? Then he was just saying, drop me off. Uh-huh. Listen, remember? Remember? I can't keep asking you. Okay? It was Willie's idea. That's fine. But I need to hear it from you. Okay. What was his idea? His idea was to question Lamar to see if, like... He would tell the truth or not, because we, we know, like... What was going to make him tell the truth? You can tell me. I, I knew he wasn't going to tell the truth. What was going to make him tell the truth? Why did you have to have him there? What's the point? I know. I got to hear it from you. Because when you, when you don't tell us, it looks like you're covering it up. If you didn't put that plan into action, it wasn't your idea, you just went along. I need to know that. But I need to know everything. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. So what was the plan? What was the idea? It was to get Lamar there. Uh-huh. See, see what he says. Uh-huh. And then there's, but there's more, isn't there? Yeah. Yeah, this okay. is the hard part. This is the hard part. What were you going to do? Was the plan to kill him? Was that the plan all along? Yes? Yes, but we we wanted what he took back. Okay. So was the plan to kill him or get the stuff back? Which was it? Okay. Tell me that. We we wanted to see what, what he was gonna say. Okay. What that what he wanted to see. Okay. I ain't want Lamar to come back to be honest. But tell me what happened. So tell me what the plan was. And when he came back, what was going to happen? What was the plan? Willie was saying that he's just going to have him drop us off. And when we get to Willie House, whatever happened, happened. No. No. It doesn't work. No, 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 no. I'm no. saying like, what? No, what, no, no, what? no. You said the plan was to get your stuff back. Yeah. Right? The try. All right. Tell me about that. No, no. You're not going to just ask him for your stuff back nicely. Where did, where did the gun come from? Let's talk about that. Let's start there. Where did the gun come from? In that car? No, no, no. Don't put me in that car. Mm -mm. No. Come on. Try again. 
Where did the gun come from? It came from... This is where you have to put it out, okay? You don't want him to tell us that he that you gave it to him, do you? I... Did you give it to him? No. Okay, and where did it come from? We had it. Where? We had it with us. What kind of gun was it? It was a Taurus 9. What color? Uh, Red. Black and silver. Black and silver. Okay. So when you guys got in the car, who had it on them? Nobody. Where was it? Under the seat. How did he get under the seat? Put it under there. Who put it under there? Over there. Okay. Which seat did he put it under? In front of where he was sitting. Why did he put it under the seat? He didn't know how to have it on him. When did he take it and point it at Lamar? He pointed at him in the car. No. So tell me what happened. Well, we was fighting. Well, okay, but I want to go back. So you guys take the gun and put it in the car. He does. Willie does. Yes. Okay. But again, how were you going to get him to give you stuff, the stuff back, Lamar? What was the plan on that? I mean, I was asking him. You were asking. Well, you were yelling. Let's be real. You were no, yelling. I wasn't yelling. There was a couple of people in that car. They said you were yelling. Well, yeah, we, yeah, we was arguing, but okay. not when I asked him. Okay. So you're asking him, but you're basically accusing him is what you're doing. Yeah, I'm, I'm asking him. I'm like, man, we know you did it, like. Okay. And he still said no. Okay. Like, so then what happened? That's when it just kept going on. He's saying like, man, I swear to God, this and that, blah blah blah. He said maybe it was uh, maintenance and trying to say other stuff. And you didn't want to hear that. I mean, I, I know for a fact it was him. Okay. So, you, I, I'm curious, you said before the plan was to kill him. Why? Who wanted to kill him? Who? I mean, it wasn't, like, Willie, when, when it happened, mm -hmm. Willie was telling me, like, he didn't want to do it, like, but he had to. Why? Because they started fighting. So that wasn't the plan? For them to fight? That, 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 that came up when we were in the car. Okay. Like he was saying, he'll beat our ass. So okay. we got rowdy, like, but then he pulled over. Okay. But see, I, I just where I get lost. You said you, you had, you and him had a plan. And the plan was to get your stuff back, right? That right. was my plan. Okay. All right. So, and this is where I get a little lost, okay? Again, you can talk to him on the phone all you want. Yeah. There's a reason why he came back. You had to get in that car with him. There's a reason why. Was it a plan to get the car from him? That's the plan? No. You guys came up with that plan sometime. I mean, the reason, the reason we got him to come back was so we could find out if he... I mean, we can find out what he's saying. Well, you found that out on the phone. So you have to step it up a notch now, don't you? No, I found out when he came, like he was saying it was maintenance and so. Right, right, but what I'm saying is, you could talk about that on the phone. Yeah. But he's lying to you he, on the phone. No, he called on the phone, he was calling me, but he wasn't saying anything. So you're mad at that point, because he's not answering you? No, I wasn't mad. Okay. I mean, I knew But the whole reason to bring him back over there so you can question him about this stuff. Yeah. Right. Because he was acting lost. Right, 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 right. And what I'm saying is you guys had a gun. Yeah. So the gun was used at some point in time to get him to tell you the truth. Because that's what, that's what makes sense. And that's what, that's what the plan was. You had to have him there. You had to have him there in, in front of you so you could do that, right? Yeah, but... That I mean, he wronged you. That didn't happen, though. That was the plan, though. Yes or no? Not with the gun. With what, then? I mean, we were just questioning him. The gun was just there while they was fighting. Like, it's either Lamar gonna get the gun or Willie gonna get the gun. It's it's him or him at this point. See, this is where I kind of get lost, right? Right? 
I mean, yeah. I mean, if he's pissed off at you and everything, why not just drop you back off at the hotel? I mean, you're literally a quarter mile down the road from the hotel. Yeah. So he pulls over right then and there and gets out of the car. Yeah. Which makes more sense to me is that the gun was, the guns pulled on him in the car. The guns pulled on him in the car. Come on, let's 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 not let's not leave it out on. You said it's put in the like, car. In the Adam. Yeah. No, it wasn't out. The gun wasn't out in the car. At some point in time, it was. It wasn't. Was it in your hands? No. So why does he pull over a quarter mile short of the hotel when you guys have this plan in store to get this stuff back? Yeah. Did you want to check we, the trunk? Did you want to check his car? I mean, what was the plan? No, we we had put our stuff in there actually, mm -hmm. like our bags and stuff in his trunk. Mm -hmm. We were actually like about to leave, like just let it leave it alone. But the argument. The plan was to get him out of the car so you guys can get in the car and take it. That was the plan, wasn't it? Mm -mm. Yes. Who, who really said that? Well, I don't know. You tell me. That that wasn't my plan. I mean, if you, you knew that was going to happen. Yeah. Yeah. How did you know? Because after the gunshots, like, I knew before the gunshots. Mm -hmm. Let's go back before. What did Willie do to let you know that he was going to do that? What did let me know at the moment? How did he do it? He he said, "Get in the car." No, no, no. Back up. Come on. This is where we got to do this. What do you want to know? What you you tell me. What did Willie do to let you know that he was going to do that to get that car? There was a plan, remember? I told you we talked to people. There was a plan. At the hotel? Yeah, tell me. He was... I mean, we, we went in there, the stuff was everywhere. Yeah. We picking it up, putting it yeah. up. And you're, you're getting mad and you're planning as you're talking? Or what? Tell me. Me, I'm, I'm not, I wasn't mad. Like, I'm, I'm the type of person, like, it's hard for me to get mad. Especially about something like that. So who got mad? Really? What'd he do? He was mad. Like, hot. Dirty mm -hmm. hot. Yeah? Then what? So he's mad. So the plan's, plan's being formulated. Plan's being figured out. Yeah. And you know the gun's in the room. Yes. And I want to make sure we're on the same page. That same gun that was in the room is the same gun that shot Lamar. You shaking your head yes? Yes. Okay. So this this stuff about it being Lamar's gun is a lie. If somebody told us that. You said what? If somebody told us it's Lamar's gun, that's a lie. It's Willie's gun. Yeah. Okay. I need to understand. You said the plan was to kill him. I need to understand that. Because that's... That you, you can't just say that and leave it out there. I gotta understand that. So you're saying you're not mad. Maybe it's not you. So if it's not your idea to kill him, then I need to know what Willie was planning to do. You knew, you knew something. You, you don't just say that. You don't just say that, you know, that's not something that just kind of like, oh, I just, maybe he was, I don't know. Yeah. This was discussed between you and him prior to. Yeah, what was it plan? Then tell me about it. What was your part in that plan? My part wasn't really much, but I just tried to help Willie. Okay, tell me. Fight. Um. What was the plan? How was he going? To, how was Willie going to? I don't know. Get back respect. I mean, is that what the plan was? Was it to take back respect? Was the right or wrong? What was it? We 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 told them more. Like, can we? If we can get it back, like, won't be no. So you threatened him. Not you, Willie. Yeah. Tell me how. He was on the phone with him, but Lamar wasn't talking. Okay, so... Like he, Lamar was calling me in. And so you had to step it up or not? He was calling us saying that he, like, he on his way, sending us pictures. But you wanted him to come back so you can confront him? Because he's not answering on the phone? Yeah. Okay. I was I was texting him, trying to, like, ask him. But he was like, okay. us. Okay. Tell me what's said about, about killing Lamar.
I don't know if you understand my talking, but I do. Look at you. It was said, like if you play flake, and it's just gonna happen. That's what was said between the two of you. Or did he say that to Lamar? That was said to Lamar. And that's on the phone or in the car? I was on the phone. If you play flake, we see what's gonna happen. Like Basically, if, he blew you guys off and didn't come over and get you and that kind of thing. Yeah. Was that mean? right? I mean, explain to me what that means. I know you said I don't. I want to understand you. I want to make sure we're on the same page. What does that mean? Like flake? Mm -hmm. Like do something sneaky or something? Mm -hmm. Like flake? Like. And he said you'll see what happens? Yeah. Okay. So, when you guys got in that car, was Lamar was Lamar leaving alive? You understand what I'm saying? Like the intention when you guys got in that car, was he gonna go home, or was he not going home? Well, well, he picked us up. I got that part. But what I'm saying is, this great big plan. Was he going home, or was he not going home? Was it dependent? He was. He was. If he did what? If he didn't get out of the car and try to fight Willie, he'd still be here. But wasn't that part of the plan for you guys? To get him out of the car to fight? No. It was his plan, Lamar's plan to fight. Yeah, but the whole thing is you had to get him out of the car somehow so you can get in the car and take well, the car. He got out of the car itself. Yeah, but am I right or wrong there? You had to pick a fight with him to get him out of the car to go fight, to, to fight, yeah. right? So you can get in the car. Yeah. The whole point was to get the car. Let's, let's at least put that on the table. The whole point of this was to get the car. So you can hold on to the car until you can get the stuff back. Am I right? That that wasn't my plan. No, 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 no. But the, the plan that Willie had, or some whoever between the two of you came up with this, the whole plan was to get that car. Yeah. Yes. And how are you going to get the car? How is he going to get the car? What was the plan on that? Let's talk about that. It wasn't it wasn't just shit luck that you wind up over there and he gets out of the car and you get in the car and you guys leave, right? Mm -hmm. It was a plan. Okay. You Lamar. talked about it in the hotel room? Lamar. Where did you talk about? Well, we got out of the car and Lamar was saying, put the gun down and I'll give you the keys. So as soon as you got out of the car? Yeah. Okay, tell me about it. When he pulled over like that, what happened? He pulled over, came around. And I they started. So, so inside the car? Willie has the firearm. Willie has the gun. Because the Lamar gets out saying, I'll just put put the gun down, I'll give you the keys. That's inside the car. Oh, that's out. Out? Yeah. So what makes Lamar get out of the car? I'm wanting to fight Willie. Okay. And at some point in time, Willie points the gun at him. And he says what? He ain't say anything. Sometimes, oh, come on. You're doing good. Remember, we talked to a bunch of people. What does he say? What did I say nothing? Okay, where did the keys come up? Because you said, you said Lamar said, don't put the gun down, I'll give you the keys. Yeah. So how did Lamar know he wanted the keys? Did you say it? Yeah, I was saying throw him the keys. So you said it first? You need, you're not in your head yes? Yes. Why? Because I wanted to go and couldn't you just walk down the street and get in another car or call a cab or Uber or whatever? I don't have no money. So you wanted that car? I wanted to leave. I didn't want, to, I didn't want his car. I really don't want none of this to happen. But it did. Yeah. Did you do anything to try and stop it? No, it's up. Break up that. Try to break up. Well, I ain't trying well, to break, didn't try it, up. break it up. No. Yeah, I'll try to help Willie. Mm -hmm. The whole point was to get that car so you can get your stuff back. The whole part, the whole purpose of him coming back was so we could at least try 
to get your stuff back. Yeah, try to like ask for it back or something. So the ride home was bullshit. That was just to get him to come back so you can try and get stuff back. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> Jaquan admits that there was in fact a plan to hold Lamar and his vehicle hostage until he confessed to stealing the items from the hotel room. This confession allowed police to charge both men with first-degree murder. At the time this video was made, both men are currently sitting in jail awaiting trial. Okay. And again, just before we leave, I want to make sure if there's anything that you've made up, if there's anything that you added to, if there's anything that isn't true, isn't the truth. And we need to know now before we walk out the door. If this was the truth, that that's fine. But if it wasn't and there was something that you added to, didn't tell us, Get it out now. Can can you uh, tell me what I said? No, I'm telling you, if you lied about anything, if you made something up, you know what it was. Yeah. Is there anything that you made up? Because it's what you thought we wanted to hear, not because to save your butt but because of what you thought we wanted to hear. Is there anything that you made up? Or is all what you told us the truth? It's the truth. Okay. Do you have anything else? Mm -hmm. Okay, time is now approximately 10, 24 hours, that concludes this interview. All right, buddy. Sit tight. Is your hand okay? Yeah. Yeah. Your elbow hurts? Grab yeah. hurts, true. How you hurt your hand? Yeah. You ended up on the pavement? Yeah. Is your elbow just sore? Uh, I didn't look at it. We got somebody we need to come and photograph those injuries, okay? It looks to be in one piece. Yeah. Very much. Hey.